If you're looking for the cheapest, and I mean cheapest coins out there to build your God Squad, head over to AOEAH.com. They are fast and reliable, and make sure you use Cold Wolf to get 3% off. Link is in the description. Now every month I like to come back to the coaching adjustments, but it's been like two months since I came back, and I didn't even realize till someone put in the comments that coaching adjustments were added in an updated Madden you can actually see them in practice mode so shout out to whoever dropped that comment i would have never guessed because i was so used to not having it i didn't even care no more you know what i mean it's one of those just deal with it type of situations but they did add coaching adjustments now before we get into it make sure you drop a like the views are down madden has is hanging on by a thread you know what i mean uh but i'm gonna go over this probably be the final one of the year by the way so pay attention and you could probably take this information into Madden 23 because I don't know how much is going to change. I doubt it's going to change much. All right, so auto flip defensive play call, man. All right, when do you want to run this? I say if you're going to be running cover three, I would just leave this on. If you're not setting up a blitz, leave this on because it'll align your middle third with the strong side of the formation when your opponent comes out of it. Not only that, if they're running the ball and they're running like single back wing pair and they're overloaded to the left side you have a flip off and your team aligns opposite of that and they run to their strong side guess what they're just gonna get yards on you so that also falls into the next category which is auto alignment okay now check this out defensive when i use it personally is for cover three only i'll flip the play if i have to or if i see that my team's misaligned i'll base align and stuff like that now that brings us to the next one auto alignment Defenders will align according to their default alignment rules. So if you come out in 3-4, whatever the play art looks like in your play call screen, that's the default alignment. So 3-4 odd has its specific, right? 3-3-5 wide has its own specific alignment. And you can change this to base. And this is real good to hide your defenses. And I love base against tight formations because I can base and then press against tight formations so my outside thirds and quarters will play a lot better as far as corner routes and crossing routes go. I don't know if a lot of you knew that, but when someone's running like tight flex, tight offset, tight end, hit them with the base look, base press, and watch how scared they get running that tight formation stuff. All right, you can run like cover four quarters, cover four drop. You can run cover three real good against tight formations with this uh, base and press. Okay, now if you're setting up blitzes, you want to use base all the time. If you want to hide your defense, you don't want them to know you're running cover three, cover two, use base. It's that simple. Now, man defenders will align according to their man. You can come out and zone and man align your defenders. However, just depending on the defense you're using, because I know Big Nickel is glitchy as hell. When you try to do this, your defenders get crisscrossed and all kinds of weird things happen. It's just horrible coding. EA, they suck. You know what I mean? Let's be honest, guys. So you man align to, to, to make it look like you're running man defense, but you're running zone. Or you're running man defense, you man align. Defenders will align according to their man coverage assignments. So you can hide your zone defense with just man align. I don't really use it, but you can. You know what I mean? I mean, I'll try a gameplay with it. And then you got to go back to default. Ball in air defense. Okay, pay attention. Because I barely use this, but there are situations where you want to use this. So if you're playing zone defense, I will put this on play ball. AI will play the ball in two-man cat situations. If you're playing man defense, I would put swap ball. Because if you put on play ball and you're in a 1v1 Man defense, your, your defender's gonna go for the interception and a lot of the times they're way off. They'll do an animation from far away, like they have no chance in catching, but they'll do it anyway. And here you'll get like acrobatic animations. AI will attempt to swat a ball to man catch situations. You've seen it in my gameplays where I, where I tell you guys I'm holding X or my, my defender will go and swat the ball or jump at it. Like uh, when I use the Panthers and play man defense, hell, they're hell. If you put that on, on swap ball, they'll swap ball. You could even probably use play ball with those defenders because they just clamp everything up. And then you have play receiver, which AI will play the receiver in two-man catch situations, but I don't really use that one. It's usually play ball and swap ball. Now, swap ball is really good toward the end of the half or end of the game. So if you have a lead and you don't really care about the pick, you just want to get a stop on defense, swap ball is going to be your better option. End of the half, same thing. Cornerback matchups. This is really good when you're using a mad defensive team because you can go by speed. Okay, fastest cornerback will match up versus fastest receiver. So if you're playing against the Chiefs and you're using the Panthers, you put that on, they'll put damn Jackson. You know what I mean? Against 
Tyreek Hill. Almost the same speed. Tyreek's what, 99 speed, but this dude's like 97, so he ain't gonna get too far away. So that one right there, your quarterbacks will match up to the fast receiver. It's gonna help you out in man defense. When you're in the red zone, you go by height. That, they, that way they can't highball them. You know, they'll highball it. People like to highball. This helps. You put them by height. By route running, don't really use that. By depth chart, I don't use that. Or you can use balance if you want. If you're running like just strictly zone defense, you don't want to worry about it. Option defense, you face a mobile QB. They do one option play, put that on conservative. Quarterbacks won't be able to do it no more. Now, I know uh, escape artists, I mean, you don't even need to run option plays with escape artists right now because it's just out of control. I get it. I use it. You have to. I mean, you got to play the game to its strengths or they're going to do it to you. They're going to do it to you. But don't be the hero. Don't have too much pride and not do it back to them. No one cares about your pride. You know what I mean? They want to whoop your ass and send you a message after. I don't care about your pride or how much of a man you are by not running escape artist. You're just hurting yourself. You're only proving something to yourself because nobody else cares. Play the game to his strengths, man. Glitches, exploits. That's how you win belts. And I don't give a damn what anyone says. It's not about skill. It's about who knows the exploits. That's just the way it goes. Who spins, especially in mud, who spins the most and who knows the most exploits? Aggressive, you want to focus on the dive and the pitch, but don't even waste your time on that. Just leave it on balance or conservative. They run one time with the QB with an option play. Put that on conservative, just leave it there. Strip ball, you can go to aggressive late game or if you need a turnover. However, the higher chance of a broken tackle and face mass penalty, you'll probably get that. So be careful with that. Conservative, lower break tackle chances. AI will not attempt to strip. So you could go like you're playing against, so like against Derrick Henry, right? Put that on pro because you're not going to get a fumble on that guy. You could try your best. You're not, uh, unless some of you have, let me know in the comments if you have. Have you stripped Derrick Henry in regs? Let me know. Or have you hit sticked Derrick Henry, right? Because that brings us to tackling, which is tackling conservative, tackling aggressive, right? Standard gameplay. You can go to aggressive. So higher chance for AI, to, for AI to attempt to strip for higher fumble chances. So be careful, like I said. Tackling, go to balanced. You can go to conservative. I don't, it's weird. They didn't put like, in this one right here, they didn't uh, uh, put anything for, wait, it's, there it is right there. Tackling, AI, AI defenders will tackle conservatively, increases chances of allowing yards after contact. Or you can go to aggressive where AI defenders will attempt to hit stick tackles. So if you put this on aggressive, uh, you probably want to put this on like if they're trying to score and they're running the ball on you and you need the ball back, you could probably do this one right here. I mean, what do you got to lose? Put on aggressive. Attack them. Zone drops. Pretty much the most important aspect of the game. Let me give you guys the base meta setup. Okay. Curl flats to five. Flats to 20 or 25. That's the meta setup. You run curl flats. If you're going to run a Mabel from a cover two or cover three, your curl flats will play the hard flats for you. And your flats will play what a curl flat's supposed to do. So we're inverting them or flip-flopping. Probably the most important part of the video right here is understanding this. Now, a base setup is if you don't want to run the Mabel, right? You can go to curl flats uh, 15, and you can set these to 5. Now, remember, outside the numbers, curl flats do not go outside the numbers when they're playing. So if there's someone sitting you with a crossing round, you have these on 15 thinking shit is sweet, you're going to get cooked. This is why they invert them and put 15, because... Cloud flats will play outside the numbers while the curl flats will play what a hard flat is. So it'll look like it'll look like this 20, 15, 5, like this. And you invert it. Curl flats go to the hard flat and the cloud flats go to do what a curl flat does. Zone drop hooks. If you're facing a mobile QB or let's say you're running cover two and they need five, four yards, set these to five. Right? If you think they're trying to pass seam routes, stuff like that, put it to 15. I wouldn't go any higher than that unless it's like late game and you want to put these to like 30. Like late game, they need a lot of yards, they need to score, then put your hooks to 30, 25. For the most part, you want to play around the 5 to 15 yard area with your hooks depending on the situation of what your opponent's doing, okay? And that's that. Let's talk about offense. Coaching adjustments, I don't mess with nothing besides this. Now, me, I go on high win streaks. EA does not like that. They want to make the game as balanced as possible. So I'm consistently having them to go on conservative in high win streaks. That's the dynamic difficulty adjustment. If you don't know what it is, you got to look it up. It's where factors affect, sliders affect how the game plays. So it's going to be hard. If you're going on win streaks, 
it's going to be harder for you to win games because they're going to change the advantages. The opponent that's not as good is going to have more an advantage than you. That's just the way it goes. It's been in the game. A lot of people don't want to accept it. They deny it, but I accepted it. And then I try to counter it. That's pretty much what I do. That's why you see me run clock. I'll run goal line. I'll run like super OP run plays because if I try to run anything else, EA is going to be like, nah, bro, what the hell you thinking? You'll see me overthrow passes like crazy in my game plays, things like that. So instead of just sitting there complaining about it, right, we just find a way to counter it. And this is how you do it. You, what do you call it? You trade off the jukes for decreasing fumble chances. Now, there's times you probably still fumble. You go against a Wagner, even on conserve, he's probably going to make you fumble, but you kind of deserve it if you just put yourself in the way of Wagner. You know what I mean? So that's why I just wanted to share with you guys, you know? Don't worry about none of this stuff. I mean, I guess you could. Oh, also, you, you could go to aggressive if you're in the red zone with the ball carrier. Try to score. Probably your best bet. If you got nothing to lose, put this on aggressive in the red zone. Five yards, four yards out. Run the damn ball in on aggressive. Just try it, man. Drop a like. Love you guys.